Hello everybody, my name is Akos Kata and today I would like to show you how to export import animations in RedKit. I would like to show you how to install the Blender plugin and how to use it and how to export a current animation, uh, edit it in Blender and after that export it back into the ARRI format and then re-import it into the engine. Let's get started. Let's open up RedKit and inside it Let's open the asset browser. Inside the asset browser, let's go into the animations folder. Inside it, we can see all kind of animations for animals, monsters, NPCs, and for the player as well. Let's try to find something for Geralt. Let's go into the man folder. Inside it, let's see the combat folder. And we could open the man X one-handed animation sets. When it opens up, it asks for a entity. Let's right click into the viewport and select Geralt. And let's load it again. And it should be based on the main base skeleton. We can show the skeleton and hide it with this button. And on the right side, we can select all different kinds of animations. Let's try to export one of them. Let's right click here. Export animation and let's name it test.re. It will create a new RE file which can be opened in Blender with the Blender plugin. Let's download Blender. I will gonna install a portable one. In the meantime, I'm gonna search for the Installation folder in Steam, Steam apps, come on, RedKit, binaries, and tools folder. Here's the Blender plugin, which we will need to install in order to open up these ARRI files. Let's open up Blender. All right, Blender is opened, and now Let's try to install the plugin with file or even edit preferences uh, inside add-ons. We can install zip files inside Blender. So let's create a zip out of this folder. This is the Blender plugin which we want to install and let's install it. Let's browse to this folder and install the animation plugin. Let's try to activate it. All right, new packages were installed and to activate the plugin, please restart Blender. This is the warning we got. Let's close Blender, open it again. All right, it is opened and let's check if the plugin is installed. Let's go into Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and it should be the Import Export Red Engine Animations Import and Exporter. Perfect. Let's click in the Scene Collection A and X to delete all these unnecessary uh, meshes. And with the plugin, let's try to import the NM set file. And it is in my workspace folder. It is called test.re. Let's load it in, and then we can see the bones with the rotations together inside the animation. I can preview it with the space. I can stop it at any time. And now let's try to make some modifications inside it. Let's go into the pose mode, and let's try to change some bone rotations. Maybe let's click on these bones, both of them, and with inside the timeline, let's click A, X, did it create frames, and now it will do a little bit different animation. We could also make the other hand wave a little bit more. Let's go to the beginning. Let's start recording with this button. Or new animation, and at the end, keyframe, let's just rotate it to this point. All right, perfect. And now 
Let's right click and export anim set as an array file. Let's name it test2.array. Export it and let's go back into the anim set and inside it we could import our new animation as a simple plain animation. Let's go to the workspace folder and the test2 should be here. Let's check out this file and our new animation is now imported. Awesome. Now let's do something fun. Let's try to open up Novigrad. It should be inside levels. Novigrad and let's open the world. It take a little time. All right, I think it is opened. And let's try to move here and spawn our character. Let's click on the play game on current layers only fast. All right, we are inside the game and now Let's try to change grass walking animation. For this, we will need to find the current behavior and the logic which is controlling this current walking animation. We should use the behavior debugger Perfect. Okay, and we will be debugging the gameplay instance. All right, a new window popped up. It can be a little bit too much at first, but let's just concentrate on the state machine. And inside it, we could actually see together with the game. When we start walking, then we can see that those nodes are activated. Script state. Let's watch it again. Let's walk and the new state should be handled inside this state machine. Inside it, it should be this one. And let's see it again in action. Let's walk. And this is the path that is activated. Let's go to the state machine, locomotion, animation. This is the running one. I can go back if I click double it's out of a node. Let's walk again. Right. This should be this one, I think. Let's walk. And actually, this walking is counted as a run cycle. And these are the animations which we are looking for. So how, how can we find them? Actually, I can see the animation name is the locomotion run cycle fast. And there should be at least three or four of them. Yep. And now let's go back to the man movement. And there should be get out movement. And I'm set. And probably here should be the run cycle animations. You can actually search for it, I think. Run cycle fast. 
and let's see for the forward triple one two three and four these are the ones we're looking for all right let's just export one of them let's open it up in blender right click import anim set file let's load it in all right here is the running animation and now let's change it do something with it maybe we could remove these bones animations animation frames and now it will do kind of a galloping something like that all right let's just export it right click export as an array file and we could actually name it the same and now let's replace these animations we should uh, fill in the animation property itself here import file locomotion like this and now i should be able to re-import it as a simple plain animation and that's it let's do it for the other ones as well i will just copy this path let's replace this one too let's place replace this one as well replace re import import file should be the same and re-import it and re-import this one as well re-import all right now let's see it in action let's save it save all and we can see the animation has changed